Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we got Alice in Chains back on the channel. This is Stone. This is going to be a request for JH and for Grunge King. So um, yeah, we are going to 2013, The Devil Put Dinosaurs here. Uh, this one, uh, I'm just going to do a little insight before we jump into this, but um, I looked at the lyrics. My first impressions are, it's kind of like, you don't know me. Um, you know, you don't know what's inside my brain. Don't try to tell me what I am. So, um, I, I'm just going to read part of this. I know you think I'm wrong, but I'm not your tour guide. Have a guess. I don't let you look inside. Uh, then near the end, he says, uh, not to worry, ice covered rocks still move. Uh, meaning I may come off, you know, dry, rough, uh, and cold to you. But, um, he says, you know, ice covered rocks. I can still be moved. Just don't try to tell me who I'm supposed to be. It's kind of my vibe from that. Now, a little insight from Jerry here. He said, um, I'm just going to read this. This is the song's uh, Wikipedia page. It says, he told UltimateGuitar.com, my arm was effed up and I couldn't play guitar. So I just, um, this was when he was recovering from surgery, by the way, for uh, to repair his shoulder. Uh, my arm was effed up and I couldn't play guitar. So I just hummed that riff into a phone. And that's how this song came to be. So then he later showed it to uh, Paul Figueroa, the engineer, and was like, hey, yeah, check this out. I'm going to make this into a killer guitar riff, which he did once he healed. So, uh, yeah, eager to hear this one, man. Without further ado, oh, it's an official video. So uh, sorry in advance if it gets blocked for visual content, if I have to put words over the little video's box. But without further ado, here we go. Allison Chains, Stone. 12 million views. Oh, that bass line. Ooh. I can imagine him plumbing this into, a, into his phone. Here's a killer riff. Okay, hold on. Let's just talk about this a little bit. Um, the video is tripping me out a little bit, but uh, that's so crazy. He's spitting out stones like that. He's just stuck in a cage. Um, this song's killer so far. What an iconic rock riff that is, too. A great killer riff. So simple, too. It seems like um, this post-lane music has more iconic yet simple riffs than even... I don't know. It feels like even from back in the day. So simple, but just amazingly good. Dear, do, 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 bend, and then I play a few notes, bend, and you know what I mean? Um, so simple. Like, ah, it's like, why has no one thought of that? Uh, thankfully, Jerry did. But um, yeah, killer sound so far, man. I'm loving it. Let's keep going. The video's telling some kind of story. I'm not sure what yet. Such a powerful line right there in the lyrics.
think it got bigger. I swear it got bigger. Till the very end for me to understand. Now she's gonna start pushing it. Yep. Okay. Wow. That was great, man. Wow. Allison Chain, Stone. Hell yeah, man. So I was thinking, well, I'll talk about the video too here in a moment, but I was thinking, man. Do you even consider this grunge anymore? Or, like, I consider this rock music now. You know, what they are, at least, uh, when was this, 2013. Um, this is rock music to me. This is rock music with grunge elements and some, that, like, you know, Alice in Chains always brought this kind of blues element to their music as well. Like this blues rocky kind of element. So, yeah, there's that, but I, I, I don't, I know I was just thinking about this after you know hearing a couple of the newer songs uh, post Lane, but yeah, I don't I don't consider it grunge anymore, man. And I hope no one takes offense to that or something. But um, and that's not an insult. I'm not you saying that as an insult. I'm saying that as just a uh, commentary on the evolution of Alice in Chains. And um, yeah, I, I love this kind of sound from them too, man. It's a little different than. Uh, obviously, it's a little different uh, with you know when with Lane not being on vocals, but um, I, I couldn't picture uh, the older iteration of them doing this. And you know this this feels right to me. I know there's going to be some people who disagree, some people who are like uh, absolutely no AIC without Lane, and I can respect that. But um, yeah, this is a uh, this point in their evolution is excellent. It sounds great. Uh, this was an excellent rock song. Like I said, what a killer riff. You could it carry the song. You, they played that riff most of this song, and yeah, well-deservedly, man. Um, the choruses in this were really uh, melodic and kind of... Uh, that was kind of where the, the blues influence kind of came into to me a little bit. Um, I mean, even that main riff is kind of bluesy as well. But uh, yeah, everything about this was excellent. And... Uh, you know, when I was talking about my first instincts on the lyrics, um, I, I got them wrong a little bit. And in the end, um, what this, at least the story the video is telling me, is uh, it kind of like I'm picturing that these stones are kind of like uh, you're carrying around all this stress. 
and kind of maybe preconceptions of what the world should be. And uh, if you keep doing that, you're not going to, you know what I mean? You're going to overstress yourself or going to fade out, crack, turn into stone and, you know, disintegrate. So don't carry all this stuff around. Don't carry this extra baggage. You don't need it. And yeah, you kind of see that with the last guy who, who never, he didn't disintegrate. But he decided at the last moment, you know, I shouldn't be carrying this stone. He let it go and he stopped cracking. So um, yeah, that's when I came to the realization of at least what the video is about. I'm still kind of torn on um, how that would apply to the lyrics because it seemed like the lyrics were more like, you don't know who I am, you know what I mean? Like, don't try to judge me or tell me what I should be. So I don't know. I could be, I don't know. But I feel like I at least understand the video. So anyway, excellent song. I know there's some more AIC songs uh, in the bank that I need to uh, uh, request, do the request for. So um, yeah, feel free to remind me in the comments uh, because, you know, <laughs> things get lost in the comments, man. And especially with me not being able to, you know, consistently do reactions lately. Um, it's better if you remind me in the comments. So yeah, anyway, if for some reason on this earth you've never heard of Alice in Chains or haven't given them a chance since Lane uh, left us, dig in, man. Check them out. They're, they're worth it. Um, Jerry was writing all the songs anyway, a good portion of them when Lane was in the band, so what the hell, right? Um, and yeah, if you're still here in the video, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me, to enjoy some rockin' music with me. And uh, if you have any other requests for any other bands, let me know in the comments as well. We'll see you guys in the next one.